Hi Flosstube! How are you? If we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and a little bit of sewing and a little bit of crochet and gardening and food and recipes and my grandbabies and of course what I'm grateful for. So thanks a lot for stopping by. Today is Monday. I know I never do a video on Monday. Monday, September 9th. This is my 19th video. Who thought that would ever happen? That's kind of neat. That's kind of good. Okay, so uh, I'm not in my sewing room, so there's no quilt today. Uh, this I sit at this counter and I cross stitch probably about an hour and a half, two hours, six days a week. Uh, Mr. Wright stands is on the other side of the counter and he makes our juice for the day. I drink 64 ounces of juice a day. So he does all the juicing and I sit over here and kind of barricade myself in so he doesn't splash on my work. And he juices, I cross stitch, we chat. So this is where I usually sit. Uh, so I thought we'd just uh, kind of mix it up a little bit. Uh, let's see, been to the ocean again, that was fun. Went to the wedding and was the only girl in the audience with eyes for the minister. <laughs> but uh, it was great. Everybody there was so wonderful. They had uh, 12 attendants. They were all lovely, lovely people. Everybody was really nice. It was wonderful. I, I did hear one funny, funny comment, which kind of cracked me up. It was this uh, gentleman, probably uh, 65 or so, and uh you know really great guy and funny and and then they said uh, i heard someone say okay the rehearsal's over it's time to go to the rehearsal dinner and he said why do i need to rehearse eating dinner <laughs> okay I, I the rest of us all think it's very proper and we do this and go to the next step but that was funny that, that was good so anyway they're married they're happy everybody's happy it was it was a good time it was it was really great so uh, let's see. How about if we start with the giveaway? I know that would be good, huh? For for a um, Monday morning, we all kind of need it. <laughs> Jeez, Mondays are tough, man. It's hard to get back into the swing of things. Okay, so our giveaway was this really cool bag or project thing from Daiso, and the the um pattern is called coffee time number 183 from Lizzie Kate okay and I have some tea in there just in case you're not a coffee drinker I have a uh, new pair of scissors and I use that um, random generator number thing I, we need to get a better name for that okay and it picked number 38 so hold on just a second let me go back I got 73 comments. Everybody's comments were great. Everyone loved the fair and all the things that they do. Lots of people like to people watch, uh, eat food, um, see butter carvings and weighing pumpkins and you know, it's just great. It's good stuff. Okay. So, oh, number 38. Okay. Hold on. All right. Her name is, here we go. Look at there. Okay. Her name is Loretta henderson so congratulations loretta if you please uh send me your um address to my email i'll put it in the block box below and then i'll wrap this up and take it right to the post office and send it your way so thanks for playing along and make sure you know you're 18 and all that stuff and do we have to say that over and over i don't really want to anymore Ooh, i'm gonna have another giveaway at the end of this video so it's, it's See, it's Monday, so we need giveaways. So, okay, congratulations, Loretta. That's a good thing. Thanks, everybody, for playing along. It was fun. It was good. I haven't done this for a month, so I have lots of um, lots of notes. So, uh, let's see. Let's get let's get right to the good stuff. Well, the good stuff was the giveaway, and the other giveaway is really good. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, so a couple of housekeeping things. Uh, first of all, this uh this particular cross stitch pattern how about that it's called octopus garden and uh, i finished it a little bit ago let's see it's called octopus in an octopus garden and it's by blackbird designs i stitched it on 28 count lugana linen in whisper okay so um and i found this uh, frame at uh craft warehouse 
So a couple of people have asked me where you can get the pattern. They can't find it. Um, okay, so I was at Acorns and Thread on Thursday and she had five or six patterns. So her name is Janine, she's really nice, nice uh, shop owner. So give Acorns and Thread a phone call and she'll help you out. She'll, she'll send the pattern right out to you. And I'll put um, their, um, their website down below so that you can just click on it and get all the information. So anyway, here, let's see. Okay, I haven't, there you go. Is that, is that better? If that's the one you're looking for. I did see it there, so that could be the solution to your question to you're trying to find it so um another thing is willa she wrote me back and okay get this not that it's good um i mean it's good but you know um uh, she just was feeling a bit under the weather and was missing her husband and so all of us stepped in and sent her prayers and good wishes and made her feel good and she sent me this fabulous email and she was stunned that she that she knew we were all thinking about her and lifting her up so yay thanks for helping her this is great okay i sent off her soul bird i took a picture before i finished it um and so then i promise i'll share that but i wanted her to see it first before i show everybody else so anyway thanks a lot for you know, lifting her up, giving her a hug through, through, uh, the internet and, uh, and all that. So anyway, she's a lovely woman and, um, I'm glad we could all do that for her. That was, that was good. It was really, really perfect timing, perfect timing. So anyway, thanks very much, uh, for joining me in that. Let's see. How about some finishes? you're gonna be surprised okay my friend's gonna have a grandbaby her first one so of course i had to make a bib let's see how do i do this okay there we go i put a little dog they have dogs of course and there's a little pocket i put a little tab on the side and i put some um little teething rings so they can have something to do of course i had to make a little bib for my my friend she's gonna have a little grandson that's pretty exciting okay and then also <laughs> I had to make this little hat. Isn't this funny? It's so cute. Okay, I ordered a little wooden button, a little um, elephant. That's what she's doing, elephants in, in the bedroom. So I, uh, in the little nursery. So I made this little hat. It's so cute. She's doing all grays. So I got to send some good stuff to my friend to celebrate. That's a good thing to celebrate. Yay, that's wonderful. Uh, okay, I finished. Uh, Sub Rosa design uh, it's called primitive hearts okay let's see okay as you can tell I finished it I didn't fully finish it I folded it I folded it up into a band I took it to Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joann's and I took it to craft warehouse and nothing caught my fancy I don't know I don't know if it's the fabric I don't know what my problem is so this one is going to go in my box with my acid-free tissue paper in between and it's just gonna kind of hang out there and wait until I come up with something to to do with it so maybe maybe more towards Valentine's Day I'll, uh, I'll uh, be inspired so that one is finished and done and she's on uh, Etsy and so if you uh, go to her shop and you find a pattern that you love, you just pay through PayPal or your credit card and then you download the pattern. It's lickety split. So it's pretty fancy. Um, anyway, it was a really lovely pattern. I'm just not inspired to finish it. I, I, don't, I don't know why. Anyway. Okay, let's see. Ooh, want to see what else I made? Look at this cool thing I made. I made this. I Oh, don't you love the smell of Mod Podge? Oh, I love that smell. I've been doing it since I think I was fourth or fifth grade. But anyway, that smell comes right back to you. And when my mom used to say, you're making such a mess, I would get on the table and get it everywhere and all the clippings and stuff I cut out. And now that I have to clean up, I'm a little neater about it. But anyway, okay, so I made this, um, I made this clipboard because I stitch in hand and so when I'm sitting in one of my chairs not uh with a table with a I have like an easel that I use I can put the pattern right on here I can hook the um like some of the, the thread right here and I can put my little 
um, scissor fob that Lynette made me and I hook it onto here and so then my scissors are right there. Um, anyway, I just copied, okay, I didn't, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright copied some cross stitch patterns for me, different sizes, different shapes, and then um, I just cut it all out. I got some stickers. I cut out. I cut out some flowers from the April Cornell magazine. Um, I got. I just whatever I had at the time. I just put in there. I like the colors. And so then this is what I just used so that my pattern doesn't fly all over and I can just have everything right there. So anyway, it made a serviceable, ugly brown boring clipboard into something really cool and fun that I want to use. So anyway, super easy. Just, I don't know, find some stickers, find some stuff that you love, cut up a magazine. It's, it's good. Mod Podge is a couple dollars and it's so fun. It's the, it's great. It's a great thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. What am I working on? Okay. Actually, actually I want to talk about, I'll, I'll talk about what I'm working on in a second. I want to talk about acorns and threads. Okay, so I went there. Okay, first of all, it's uh, they have a meetup on Thursday, the first Thursday of the month. Okay, so you go there to their shop, and they have this big table set up and all these chairs. And apparently, the big thing was they almost ran out of chairs because so many happy girls came to to stitch. Okay, so that that's a good problem to have. And Janine has a lovely shop. It's it's. It's my second time there, so it, I'm still overwhelmed. I don't have a local LNS, so that is mine. It's about 165 miles away. It takes about, uh, th I think it took three hours or, I, okay, I don't remember. We, you know, of course, I chatted the whole time with Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright drove me, and uh, he went golfing that day. And uh, to the there's a golf course right there. There's a golf center right there, so he was pretty happy. Um, it was 90 degrees by the time we got there. So it was a little, I thought it was me, but I saw other people kind of fanning themselves. It, it was a little toasty. Okay. So we got there and I've seen a couple other, uh, gals on floss tube talk about it and they are so good at knowing what the Instagram names are of each person. And okay, that's not me. I, I loved meeting people and visiting with people and I got to meet Darlene who is, has been commenting for so long on my um, videos and to meet her person face to face was was wonderful. She's, she's a lovely gal. She's so smart. Ooh, I love that about her. And she's got a funny sense of humor and you know, of course, I love that. However, um, there was lots and lots of people there and I, I feel like if I say the names, it's like I'm name dropping, but I kind of want to do it anyway. Um, I got to hug Lisa of Kindred Stitches and Lisa Smith, and um, I got to see Lori Textilis and give her a hug, and I was like trying to gather all that goodness that they have, all that creativity, everyone that hug, I'm trying to suck out all of their their goodness and creativity. Um, I got to meet Michelle Bendy and we got to chat, just chat like we're old friends. And she's, she's a, uh, a lovely gal. When you meet her, you kind of get this feeling. You're stepping into this aura, this really kind spirit. She's just this giving soul. You kind of feel like she's just one of those good people with glowing aura around her. You just, I don't know. It's a good thing, man. We are so lucky. We are so lucky that she's uh, in our sewing circle. But uh, I met Stephanie and Wendy and I just, the, the list of names goes on and on. There was like 30 people there and I was trying to remember everyone's name and I tried, was trying to memorize Lisa's name who helped me um, from Acorns and Thread. She's one of the gals that works there and she was so kind. She would, they were so busy and yet she just calmly took care of all my questions and helped me with my fabric. Um, I'm not, I'm, I don't get to see fabric in person. I only see it online. So for me, it was just, it's like a candy store and I just want to, I want to, I want to shop. I want to buy fabric. I want to, I, and I did, and I promise I'll show you a couple things. Um, it, 
I don't know, it was just so darn good. And, and so I remembered her name because I thought, oh, I should send her a thank you note. She spent so much time with me. And I just, I, I can't remember everybody. Um, I got to meet Audrey Stitchy Witch 42. I got to give her a hug. I know, I just feel like, I know, it's like, it was like the Oscars. <laughs> people are lined up and you get to meet all these fabulous people. And um, she's funny. She's nice. Her stitching is beautiful. And it was really fun to see what she was working on. And she's making this cording. She's making a friendship bracelet, but really long. So that she, it, weaving it while we were there and she was doing it while you were chatting so that she could go around her piece that she's making. It's, it's good. It, she's, that's great. I love creativity like that. That's really smart. That's, that's, that's good. And it, it's the perfect colors. It'll, it just goes perfectly with the piece she's, she's stitching. But I'll link all these people below so that you can go see their uh, floss tubes and uh, videos and gain all their goodness and Okay, and then I met Christine. <laughs> Stitch all the things. And uh, we've chatted back and forth. We've connected different ways. And man, it was, uh, it, was a, it was good. It was really good. It was one of those times where I was really nervous to go and meet all those people. And Mr. Wright kept saying, oh, you're going to have a great time. You're going to meet lots of new people. That's why you did this. You decided when you stopped your business that you were going to start making floss tubes videos because you wanted to meet new friends. And it's tricky. It's tricky for someone who is 57 years old to go about in the world and meet new friends. You have the same church. You have the same neighborhood. You, have, you don't travel uh, with the military anymore. And so it is tricky making new friends. So for me, I loved it. It was, I was overwhelmed. I was gobsmacked. It was stunned. And when you actually meet one of those people that you just connect with and you feel like taking a deep breath and you know that's that person that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. You're like, you were just, I was just surprised and happy and I could just feel it in my heart and soul. And Christine is one of those, uh, one of those great people. And, uh, anyway, she, she gave me a present. I'll show, I'll show it to you and the, the things that I got. And, um, one of the things that happened, I, I, I didn't, I kind of hesitated. I didn't know if I was going to, I was going to tell you. Okay. But here's the thing. Oh, wait, we have cookies, molasses, crinkles, we have coffee. So have a sip of coffee, enjoy a cookie. Okay. So here's the thing got uh, quite sick, extremely sick, uh, about six, six and a half years ago. I know the exact date, but I'm not going to say it because it sounds like I'm a crazy girl keeping track. But yes, I keep track of every day that I'm alive. Um, anyway, when you are diagnosed uh, very, very ill, in the weird twist of fate, uh, some of your friends jump ship. I know it sucks at the time really and I'm using the word sucks it really does and you are uh, trying to stay afloat and you're panicking and then some of your friends uh, walk out they can't do it and I understand it is scary it's tricky it's hard um, I I get it I get it but at the time I was kind of confused and mad and hurt and frustrated. Okay, now let's bring it all the way over to, to all the new friends I met. So I think part of the reason why I can't remember all of these names and these people, I'm just stunned. So all of the times that I have um, felt bad and I can't believe people walked out, all that's over. In, in a moment, the second when I was in the middle of 30 people introducing themselves and sharing their cross stitch and their goodness and their hugs and talking and wanting to meet and wanting to become friends and uh, where do you live and how far did you come from and oh my gosh Aaron you took the train and how did you get here it, oh it's in that split second my life changed uh, I don't really need to foss 
and think about or give any attention to any of those friends that decided to walk away. They left huge holes in my life and I was stunned, but I had to keep moving. I had to keep moving forward to get better. And all of a sudden, while I'm standing there in the middle of acorns and thread, my ears got kind of ringing and it kind of got loud. I couldn't, everybody was talking and there was lots of commotion and lots of goodness and the walls are covered inch by inch with fabric and thread and all these things are going on. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is it. This is why I started uh, making videos so I could meet new friends. And I don't have to say these friends are going to jump ship. These are the kind of people that stick. They're the ones that are there for you, thick or thin, the good times, the bad. Uh, it just, it felt lovely. It felt really lovely to be surrounded by all these people. And I really tried to, to focus and, and concentrate on each person and what their grandbaby's name was or who they were stitching their project for or what they were doing or their... Uh, plan B project because they forgot their glasses or their stitching or their thread and this is what they're stitching instead. It was really good. I am so grateful. I, I was right in the middle of it. So anyway, thanks girls. Thanks all of you that were there and I look forward to coming again sometime. Um, it, it's a little bit of a trip, but it was fun. And then afterwards I get to go out to dinner to our favorite place in Portland. So that was fun. So um, anyway, it was wonderful. If, you, if you're ever in, in your area where there's a, a local needle shop and they might have a meetup or meet at Panera or um, maybe just somebody's house where three or four of you meet, um, it does your heart and soul so much good. It would really be worth it. I know it's a little bit scary and you get a little nervous and what should I wear and how should I do my hair and oh, I'm, I'm all excited and take a deep breath, put on your big girl panties, your snazzy panties, and go. It is worth it. It is totally, totally worth it. It was, it was really fun. So, okay, okay. Um, let me talk about my works in progress. That's why you're here. You're here to talk about or see some stitching. See some stitching. Okay, this one. Okay, let's see if I can get it up close. By her hand is one that I am... It's uh, By Her Hand by Lottie Daw. Can you see that? There you go. And this is the one that I stitched in 2007 and then promptly ruined it by uh, washing it and drying it on a, um, a cookie rack and the metal ruined my piece. So I no longer wash my pieces afterwards. But anyway, I am... Um, slowly but surely uh, remaking that piece and it's going really slow. I don't know if it's the colors. I don't know if it's the fabric. I'm not a happy girl about it. So anyway, I will um, keep going on that. However, I'm going to set it aside for a little bit. Um, this piece is called Silent Sampler. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, oh, here's the pattern right here. Okay, Silent Sampler by Rosewood Manor. And this is samplers, uh, September sam sampler September. So I've been trying to work on sampler pieces, and this was my New Year's e or New Year's Day start. I loved it. I fell in love with it. I don't know why I fell out of love with it. I don't know if it's the colors. I'm not thrilled with the fabric. It's a pretty piece. Um, uh, part of it is in silk. Part of it is over dyed. Uh, I don't know. I, I, this is another one that I'm just going to set aside for a little bit. Uh, I'm not. I'm not giving up. I just. I think I need to take a break. And um, I mean, I'll. I'll still work on it a little bit this September for September um, sampler September. But um, I don't know. All right. So when I went to Acorns and Threads, I found. Well, no, I didn't. Lisa. She helped me, and she found some great fabric. Uh, I decided to start this piece by Pineberry Lane <clears throat> and it is it is by Pineberry Lane it's called Beloved Companion Memorial Sampler and I'm stitching it I'm, I'm not using the colors that they suggest I'm stitching it all in 
uh, Gentle Arts Schoolhouse Red. There you go. Gentle Arts Schoolhouse Red. So it's it's all one um, all one color. It's my first time doing all one color, and I got to tell you, it goes lickety split. I I started it Saturday or Friday, I think. Friday. Uh, Saturday, I believe it was. Um, and I was going just like crazy. I was doing so well. And then one thread over one thread. <laughs> Yikes, that slows you down. So today I'll, I was going to put on those uh, magnifying glasses and really give it a shot. But I'm kind of thinking what I'll do is I'm going to do like maybe an hour of one over one thread stitching and then and then switch back to uh, one over two threads and um, that way I'll continue to make progress. I really love it. It's beautiful. Um, I decided to start it in honor of our dog Sweet Liberty. She passed away at the end of June and uh, she was my daily companion everywhere I went. Every appointment I went to, everything I did, she was with me. So um, it took me, uh, it's taken me a few weeks to uh, be able to talk about it and now it's time to make a beautiful beautiful sampler for her I already found the frame so I'm stitching this piece and then I'm going to add borders and things around it until it fits the frame that's how much I like the frame isn't that crazy but uh, anyway that's how we're, that's how we're gonna do it so it's a really lovely piece it's it's really a special thing and oh the pattern comes with um, a little dog shape or a cat shape so you can use it for either animal um, if you are making a memorial sampler so anyway that is a good thing that's a very good thing okay what else do I have here hmm let's see shall we uh, hold on hold on I know I feel like I'm a little flustered today oops am I flustered I am flustered I wonder, can I pause this? What would happen if I pause it? I'm not going to. That's too scary. I can't do it. Okay, let's do the giveaway. That'll be way happier. <laughs> okay, I made a project bag. Look, it has beautiful flowers all over it. I know. But that's all I did. That is all I did. Okay, so a floss tube subscriber. Her name is Barbara Braun. Hi, Barbara. She went to go visit her grandbabies. So this, she sent this off before and then for crying out loud, my mailbox. Okay, I don't have one right in front of my house. We have this bank of mailboxes for, I think it's nine or 12 houses. Someone broke one of the locks or the, I, I don't know what the story was. The mailman quit delivering our mail for a week and a half. And then we had to go to a neighboring town to pick it up. I didn't, I don't really understand the whole story. Okay. Finally, we got all of our mail. Anyway, Barbara from Rochester, Washington, she sent me this pattern by the Scarlet House. Okay, wait, I'm, I, I don't wanna ruin it. Oh, good, okay. I'm gonna take it out really carefully. I won't bend it, I promise, so that you can see uh, a picture. It's called um, A Perfect World. There you go. Okay, so she bought this pattern for us and she said she enjoys watching my videos and she wanted to share it with us. And would I be willing to do a giveaway? I was like, oh my gosh, how nice is that? This pattern is so nice. In a perfect world, you would find me here with the birds and the flowers and the dogs and the deer. It's so nice. It's such a beautiful pattern. I'm, I want to like put my name in the hat too. So I won't. Okay. Anyway, she said that I could have this pattern and then we would do a giveaway. So I said, oh, okay. That would be fun. Okay. So I made the, um, I made a project bag. It has little green polka dots in the inside. I did a hot pink. I'm into hot pink lately. Okay. Look, hot pink zipper. Look. I bought hot pink glasses just for fun. Isn't that crazy? Uh, okay. I got sidetracked. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, I made it with lots of flowers and, um, I'll make some, um, I'll make some of those thread drops. And then when everybody, um, writes in with our question, okay. Um, 
I don't know. Did I figure out a question? I, I thought I wrote it on the paper. It's not on the paper. In a perfect world. Oh, man. I don't know. Flowers, dogs, deer. This is perfect. This is perfect. Um. Anyway, okay. So once we have the, um, everybody that, you know, wants to have the pattern or would like to try to, you know, be in the drawing, then I'm going to have her draw the name. I'm going to have her do the random generator. She gets to pick the name. She won't. I mean, I could give her a copy of all the people's names and everything. If she wants to cut them up and put them in a, in a hat, if she doesn't want to do the random generator thing, that's totally fine. But she's going to be in charge of choosing who the winner is. And um, then I'll mail it off, you know, once she pick, picks the, um, the winner. And I'm going to really try to do within two weeks. I'm going to try to do another video in two weeks. I'm you know, kind of late this month, but, um, I'll get back on track of, of what I was doing. So, um, I don't know. I kind of want to say what, tell me some, a good thing you did for somebody. I know we're supposed to keep it secret, but tell me something good. This is a good thing. How nice is that, that she did that for us? Oh my gosh. We all get a chance. Not me, but everybody else gets a chance for the drawing for this pattern. That was so generous of her, wasn't it? That was really thoughtful for her to do that. But anyway, okay, leave your name if you're interested. If, you, if, you, if you're interested in um, stitching this Scarlet House, a perfect world, tell me something good that you did for somebody else. Tell me something. I mean, we all did that great moment for Willa of sending her good karma and good wishes and prayers and kind of surrounding her with love and goodness and hugs virtually, you know, through the internet. So tell me something good. Maybe we could come up with some good ideas of what we can do for one another and make each other, make it a smidgen more of a perfect world. Just maybe, just that'd be great. Um, anyway, thank you very much, Barbara. We all appreciate it. What a generous thing to do. So, um, okay. So we are giveaway, which is going to be it with, uh, two, about two weeks. And, uh, anyway, it's for the, um, the pattern. The project bag that I made and I'll uh, slip in some thread drops and probably a thing of tea. I'm trying to get rid of the tea. <laughs> anyway, if you get the pattern, you also have to take the tea. So <laughs> um, anyway, thank you very much, Barbara. We all appreciate it. So um, le drop me a, a comment. Leave me a note. Don't say giveaway. Don't say drawing. You're going to be 18 to give me your address if, if you're a winner. Um, and I promise I'll send it anywhere in the world. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, Anyway, thank you very much, and ooh, I can hardly wait for the for to hear all the comments of what people have done, just just to be good for really no reason, no reason at all, just to do something good. And maybe we could uh, all read through the comments and and find some good ideas. So that'll be good. That'll be good. Thanks, Barbara. Okay. Uh, oh, I have a couple new people. I, I want to talk about uh, floss tube people. Uh, number one, floss tube videos. Let's see. Uh, these are just, uh, I just have uh, four today and they are uh, new or new to me. Uh, first of all, I have Anna and she is Stitch Roadie. And again, I'll, I'll link everybody below so you don't have to, don't have to write it down. Okay, she's, ooh, her stitching is really good. Right off the bat, really good. Uh, she has a good sense of humor, great smile. She seems really kind and considerate. Uh, yeah, her stitching is lovely just lovely uh she's a quilter she has um lots of uh, lots of things to talk about with uh crafts and creating and goodness and you'll enjoy your time with her go you know go check her out uh okay stitching with my bestie gina and tina okay they're from louisiana they're they're best friends they're um stitching quilting they're a hoot and a half. They're hilarious. I sort of, I have this term I kind of created. I think it's a word I created. It's called a snort giggle. You know, it's like when you're kind of giggling, but you're kind of snorting because you're drinking coffee and it's, ah, they're just the best. They're fun. They're, they seem genuine. They're, they're just kind to one another. I love the interaction between the best friends. They're just really uh, charming and kind. They seem so sweet to each other, but they have a, a real funny sense of humor and the time with them flies by. It just flies by. Uh, they do some great, great stitching and they go to a couple of different, um, different, uh, 
stitch meetups or like a class and then they tell you all about it and anyway that that southern accent man it grabs you and it just takes hold and the time flies by you'll you'll enjoy your time with them okay uh, maximum cross stitch power hour with Ellen Reed oh she's funny she's done some really really lovely needlepoint I mean knock your socks off lovely that's how good it is uh, she's an excellent stitcher she's doing a oops I forget the. It, it's a big sampler is it a Rosewood Manor oops I can't remember what, what pattern it is uh, anyway really oh it's so inspiring it, it, it makes you want to pick up your stitching and stitch with her and she has got a wicked sense of humor which I love she is funny she's beautiful she's got a great smile oh did i mention she's a rock star she's uh she sings with the crash crash test dummies in uh, in uh, her other life the life i watch is the cross stitching life but in her other life she's a rock star anyway uh go check her out i think you'll enjoy your time you'll be pleasantly surprised with her quality stitching it just it's it's on point it's it's perfect really lovely and then uh, my last one that I'm going to talk about today, her name is Christy. She's at Christy Stitches. Okay, she is, uh, I don't even know her, she, but I, I'm just going to make this up. She's grace-filled. She's kind. She is just a lovely person. You kind of feel her spirit coming through the computer screen. You just want to sit there and listen to her. Um, she's a homeschooler, so you know I love her. But here's the thing. I homeschooled two boys. She has nine babies, nine kiddos. She stitches nine different, or she teaches nine different levels of school at one time. Okay, God bless her. She's going to heaven. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I've had the, I just can't imagine, you know, like, all, I make out my flashcards the night before and try to teach Roman numerals or or cut up pieces of bologna or cheese or whatever we were doing to teach fractions and and it would take me 30 minutes to get ready and then one kid would say okay I is this how it works can I eat the bologna now <laughs> oh good gravy so I don't know how she keeps her brain going with nine different classes and levels and anyway she said her other hobby is laundry <laughs> which I'm sure it is uh, they live on a farm so they have all kinds of different animals animals and kids and okay equals laundry you just know it you just know it but uh, anyway she's um, she's beautiful beautiful smile and she just seems pulled together she seems like the kind of mom you want to have that she's she's not going to be mean or yell at you or tell you, you didn't do it right she just I, she just has pain you know she has patience oh you know she does but here's the thing her stitching is so lovely I, I was writing notes as she was talking oh I would love to do that oh I would love to do that oh that looks good so there is something that's going to catch your eye when you go visit her you um time well spent the really lovely gal so oh I'm so grateful that she's in our sewing circle so go give Christy a hello and a check out and uh say how you doing Okay, and I have a couple of um, subscribers I wanted to uh, talk about. Number one, just a quick one. I already mentioned her before, Lori Scott, but I wanted to say a special congratulations on your ribbons for your cross stitch at the State Fair this year. So, well done. That's pretty neat. That's pretty exciting. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, I know every single time we hear somebody wins a ribbon, it kind of elevates all of us. I don't know. We all we all take credit. Oh, I'm a cross stitcher too. So anyway, congratulations. Uh, Janice Kramer, she makes me blush. All of her kind comments and her uh, lovely words. Every single time she leaves a message, it's something kind and considerate and nice. And uh, you couldn't ask for a better person to, to get to know and meet and anyway thanks Janice it's it's really nice uh, Janet B okay this is an interesting gal uh, she's kind and nice and friendly oh she's super friendly and writes really lovely comments and then last week when I was or last time I did a video I showed you a quilt that I had made on behind me and it was from a quilt group I belonged to in Kaiserslautern Germany when I lived there and I lived there from 90, 1993 to 1995 
And she wrote me a message that she lived at Air, um, Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany, which was right next door. She lived there from 1992 to 1996. And she said she went to that quilting group. I mean, it was huge. It was, you know, 70, 80 people every, and different ones each time. But um, so you, there's just no way you could have met each person or sat next to each person every time you went. But okay, little teeny world of floss tube all mixed up. We were in the same quilting group in Germany. How wonderful is that? It, it, it just kind of mind blowing. So it's pretty exciting. So hi, Janet. <laughs> Thanks for um, commenting and and uh, telling me that you, that you were there. I kind of hope we sat next to each other and we liked each other. I just, that's the way I'm going to remember it. So there you go. Okay. Uh, I know I don't normally do this, but when I went to Acorns and Threads, I, I got to buy some things. So I wanted to share them with you. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, I've never done a prairie schooler. Never. And I got this pattern and I'm going to take out, hold on. I'm going to take out the ice skates and just leave in the hockey skates and the hockey stick and the puck uh, for Mr. Wright. He collects Santa Claus, but you know, he's a good Canadian boy. He loves his hockey. He played hockey growing up. So this was the prairie schooler for me. So I'm going to, I'm going to stitch that one. It is Prairie Schooler 2009 Santa. So it does have ice skates, but I am not going to be stitching the ice skates. So that'll be good. That'll be fun. That'll be fun to make something for him. He's a good guy. He's a really good guy. I feel like I should do more than just, here's your cross stitch. So, well, I beg for him. I Don't worry. I, he, I do nice things for him. Okay, when I was at Acorns and Threads, I found a Stitcher's Sampler. Oh, it's so neat. It's all one color. Oh, wait, who's it by? It is by the Primitive Hair. And it's a Stitcher Sampler 2016. Okay, let's see if we can get it close enough so that you can see it. I really liked it. I was drawn to it. Um, I'm stitching a few other things, so I didn't get the thread or fabric. But the next time I go to Acorns and Threads, I'm going to go... And um, Lisa, she helped me and she suggested creme brulee fabric. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I, I'm not very good at choosing fabrics that are a little bit different. And so uh, how lucky that I can go there. And uh, last time Janine helped me and this time Lisa helped me and picked out some really beautiful fabric. The fabric that I did uh, started that memorial piece on, it is called R&R &R Linen 32 Count Nantucket Brew. So that's the, that's the fabric that I picked for that. And then she suggested the creme brulee for this one. So I'm, I, I love what she picked out. So I'm going to, going to have to go with that. That's for sure. Okay. Um, oh, I'll open this one and I, I forgot to take it out. It's really tiny. It's called La Poulet. A French pin cushion means a chicken. It's by Blackbird Designs. And I have a love hate relationship with my chickens. <laughs> I just planted three new blue um, lavender bushes by their coop. I'm going to have to learn how to take pictures and insert them. They're good girls. They're just not laying any eggs. So they're kind of lazy. But this morning I gave them blueberries and spinach and my leftover oatmeal. I didn't tell them it was leftover. I told them I made it for them. Yeah. Anyway, I thought this would be a fun little pin cushion. I'm, I, I, uh, now I'm all into the bread, I, you know. Heidi Cran, make make a little small uh, sampler with red. Okay, this one's called, uh, it's by JBW Designs, and it's the Rabbit Alphabet. And I picked uh, Gentle Art Cherry Wine, because this pattern is more for um, uh, like a bright pinks, and I wanted it more reds. Okay, so there's the pattern. It has all these little bunnies on it. And it has, I don't know if you can tell, but it has these little tiny buttons that you get to sew on. Okay, wait, let me just point to it and hold my finger there so I can show you. Okay, they have little tiny buttons in different places. And I thought it was so cute. I really loved it. I love this. I'm kind of thinking, though, that I'm going to hold on to it and maybe make it for spring and maybe have something to look forward to. You know, once the winter kind of sets in and I'll need a little, a little boost. This might be my boost. I'm kind of excited about that. 
Okay, and then one other thing I bought was R and R linen 32 count espresso. Okay. This piece is 27 inches by 36 inches because of this. And I know there's a stitch along that's going to happen in March. Uh, I, be, I, I think it's March of 2020. I don't know. This one's calling me. I, I, I'm going to have to start this. I might have to start this before March. I might have to start this this week. Oh heck, who am I kidding? I want to turn this video off and start this right now. It is so beautiful, but I never had R&R &R, um, linen before. So I have it for this piece and I have two other pieces that I that I got to um, when I was at Acorns and Threads. So thanks girls for for having that at Acorns and Threads. That That is a real treat. Okay, I have one more thing to show you. I don't know, I, I it's it's crazy. Look at this. This is this beautiful bag. Do you ever have those? Do you ever have a list of people you need to write thank you notes? Um, like at Christmas. Some people, it's really easy. Thank you for the weird green socks that don't really fit me. Um, I appreciate you thinking of me. Happy New Year. <laughs> those those are easy to write. Those emails or those thank you notes are easy to write. There's always one or two at the bottom of the list that you just oh my. Gosh, you don't even know what to say. It's so lovely. Okay, so in this case, I actually sent a postcard to this person saying, I can't write the thank you note yet. It's just too nice of a gift. I can't figure out what I want to say. I just, here's a postcard to let you know I'm going to send you a proper thank you note. Okay, inside is um, Blackbird Design in my garden, a drum the kit, the fabric, the thread, the, the whole thing. And this is a bag that was hand sewn with different pockets and zippers. The stitching is impeccable. It is beautiful. It has a little zipper tag at the bottom. The colors are gorgeous. Don't you love the colors? They make you so happy. I just love these. I want to, okay, again, I want to wear my pink, my new pink glasses and look at my bag with the pink. Oh my God. Christine stitched all the things. She made this for me and she gave it to me. Okay. You, you know, when you don't give quite the same gift to somebody else, she gave me this made from the heart, gorgeous, generous, beautiful. I gave her some tomatoes and a zucchini. Oh, and a cucumber from my garden. Okay, it doesn't, it's not even. Do you know what I mean? It, it, okay, you're all saying it doesn't have to be even. Yes, it does. This is lovely. This is wonderful. This is handmade. This is generous. And I gave her a zucchini. Ah, oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Okay, I'm gonna try to make a really lovely thank you card and then I'm gonna make her something else. I, just, I love that girl, I just love that girl. And her hair is stunning. Okay, and here's the other thing. I, I, she's trying to diet and she's lost 37 or 40 pounds. I mean, she's. I'm very proud of her and so and she looks gorgeous. But in person, I never knew her before. So I, I don't know how different she looks. She just, but in person, when I met these people, Michelle Bendy and Lisa Smith and and all these girls, uh, Lori and um, Aaron and, and Stephanie, all, all of these people, Audrey, I meet them in person and they're so much smaller than I had in my head. Is this the camera thing where like you see a newscaster and they're 15, 20 pounds lighter when you see them in person because the camera adds weight? This is insane. I didn't know this. So when you meet me, I'm so much skinnier. and That's kind of cool. That's kind of a good thing. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Christine. Thank you. What a generous, beautiful, lovely. I can't even talk about it. I, I don't know. I get kind of like I'm going to lump in my throat to talk about it. So, okay. All right. I, I don't think that versus the zucchini. Oh, okay. All right. Okay.
Now I gotta talk about things that I'm grateful for. I've kind of chatted a lot today. I, I, ooh, okay. First of all, Mr. Wright, he, I, I gotta be, I am so grateful. He drove me to Acorns and Threads and, and just, just, you know, send me a text. I'll leave the, I'll leave the driving range when you're done. It's not, it's pick time. And it was wonderful. And he listened to me chat all the way home, 165 miles of me talking about cross stitch. <laughs> that could be a lot for anybody. Let's, let's be honest. Anyway, I'm grateful. Uh, I'm grateful for a bar of soap. Look at my fingernails. I garden every day. And before I go out, I scrape my fingernails over a bar of soap and it fills up my nails and and I put lots of lotion on before I put my garden gloves on and I don't have any trouble. I don't have um, dirty looking nails. So yay, I'm grateful for bars of soap. Okay, I talked about it. Christine's already probably eaten hers. This is my first year ever. Everybody talks about it. This is my first year ever of growing a zucchini. Look, this is like my fifth zucchini. I can't believe it. I've made zucchini fritters. I've made zucchini noodles. Oh my God, I gave one to Christine. I can't, I can't believe that I actually grew these. I'm, I'm so happy. That makes me really happy. So anyway, yesterday I harvested, harvested some potatoes. Look how great they look. Oh, I can't wait to use them. I, I got a lot more than this, but I didn't want to like bring in sacks of potatoes for you. But anyway, yeah, gardening's going good this year. I've already uh, have a little book. I've been keeping track of new ideas for next year and things I'm going to do a little different. So that's a good thing. I'm, I'm grateful for my gardening. Really, really grateful. Cocoa Whip. What could that be? You know, all you people that eat Cool Whip on their pumpkin pie or a big old lump of Cool Whip in their coffee or hot cocoa. And I, I don't, I don't eat that. Okay. This don't, don't think this is super healthy because it's not, but there's, there's sugar in it. But anyway, this is made out of coconut oil. I know it's the Cool Whip stuff made out of coconut oil so that I can have it. It's no, there's no dairy and that makes me super happy and tapioca syrup. There is sugar. There is sugar, but for a treat, it's pretty nice. I, I, I made these, um, uh, berry, um, desserts and then I just put a little dollop on top with a mint leaf and it was so fancy and delicious and I couldn't believe it and okay it's like three or four dollars but maybe maybe at Thanksgiving when you need to serve your pumpkin pie with your dollop of Cool Whip if you don't use whipping cream and um, maybe the person in your life that can't have dairy would just be like so happy and thrilled that you served that so that's a good thing that's a very good thing. Okay, 24 years ago, can you believe this? The last time we ate in a Burger King, the fast food restaurant was 24 years ago. And then last week, we went and tried an Impossible Whopper. I can't believe I was in a, I was in a Burger King. Okay, so here's the thing. It does taste like fast food. It's, it's not good for you. No part of this is good for you. Do not think that it is. However, all the times when I talk to you about making a gourmet picnic and going on our trips, we pack a huge, gorgeous, gourmet, top of the line, beautiful picnic because I, I can't really eat at any fast food places. I can't have the, the food. So not that I'm going to do this. I mean, anyway, it was, it was pretty good. I'd give it a B plus. I thought, I thought it was pretty good. Um, it was kind of fun to be like the other kids drive up to a fast food place, go in. I got a burger and French fries and um, we shared an iced tea, but I don't, I thought it was fun for sometimes you just want to fit in. Okay. I know I sound like an 11th grader, but sometimes you just want to fit in and I got to go and have a burger and fries like everybody else. So anyway, impossible burger. It was good. It was, you know, it was, it was really good. So that was, that's kind of nice. And I, and to be honest with you, I'm really celebrating all of them. I try to go and eat or buy the product, share it with Mr. Wright or whatever, because I'm really happy that they're offering some alternatives so that, you know, in case we're on the road somewhere and I can't figure out what to eat or I need something to eat, that there is an option. So that, that's kind of neat. The fast food. I, I don't know. I can't believe I'm actually thumbs up for the fast food. But anyway. Okay. 
here's a cross stitch thing that I'm super happy about. It came from Fat Quarter Shop. Okay, it is called a ballpoint needle. And I don't know, oops, can I even get this open? Oh, good gravy. Okay, ballpoint needle. There you go. Okay, so it's a regular needle and has a little teeny ball on the end of it. And I stitch in hand with linen. So when you're stitching, uh, Susie Reno suggested this uh, as one of the things she was loving. So I gave it a try. They're a little bit spendy. Um, at first, I mean, I, I must say I like it. I, I bought the 28 size. And I must say, I really do like it. It catches the next hole without poking you. Um, you, it would, you can't split your stitches with that ballpoint needle so that you wouldn't be able to do the pin stitch. Uh, but other than that, it, and if, if you're counting your little squares with the point of your needle, sometimes that ball skips over. So it, you know, for those of us that use our needle to count over. Um, anyway, uh, I, the only thing that I would say that I, I'm not comfortable with is it's a little bit long for me that I, I like a shorter needle. But I've used it now for about two weeks, and I am really impressed. It's it's really, really nice. I did hear one gal say that she bent hers already, and she's kind of rough on needles. So, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm I'm hovering right around B+. Everybody's like, mm, it's kind of a neat thing. And some people are giving it A's, and some people are saying, I know, it's kind of spendy, but... Um, if you get a chance, I, uh, if you get a chance, I definitely would, uh, add that to the next order that you have, or if you're in a shop and you see one, um, anyway, I love it. I, I, I really like it. Uh, okay. I have two more things and I'll let you go. <gasps> Holy cow. I'm oh, oh goodness gracious. Okay. Oops. All right. Well, here, have another cookie, have another drink of coffee, just another sip and I'll be done in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. I love these crazy sexy love notes i've given them as presents uh i use them they're messages from your wise and fabulous inner self so you either pick a card every day or you look through and find one that speaks to you it has gorgeous gorgeous art it's fun it's colorful it's beautiful and look at this one find your tribe that's what happened to me at Acorns and Thread. I was standing there and I thought, I know what card this is. This moment in my life, I found my tribe. It took me a long time, but I found it. So anyway, uh, these cards, there's 52 in the deck. If somebody is sick or ill or unwell or under the weather or not doing well or trying to heal, this is a great great surprise to send them uh it's it's i think it's about 14 dollars, and um, you can get them on amazon you can go right to uh chris carr's website if you if you want to order them directly from her um i'll link it below so that you can do it it's it's wonderful it's a really good gift it's a good thing to have on your nightstand or on your coffee table and you get to pick a card nourish yourself your purpose is joy when you say to yourself, what's my purpose? It's joy. You are awesome. <laughs> I love these cards. I love these cards. Okay. And you know, I love my new hot pink, hot pink glasses. So anyway, thanks a lot for joining me. I know I chatted way too much, but it was fun. It was fun to chat with you and talk and tell you all about all the good things. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. I look forward to uh, visiting with you again, and I hope it'll be about two weeks, and then we'll have the drawing for that, um, that uh, pattern that Barbara uh, gave to all of us. So anyway, thanks a lot. Happy stitching. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye.